Hello friends, this is Umesh and uh, welcome to the first video of the Eagle Cat tutorial series. So in this video, we would going to design printed circuit board. So this video will consist of maybe three or four parts of the videos. And uh, the first video is about installation of Eagle Cat. Then second video is about designing a schematic. And third video is about uh, designing printed circuit board where we will learn how to route the um, PCB and then the fourth video would be how to generate the output files some people prefer to call it as a Gerber files so uh, this uh, series has a uh, four different videos I hope so let's see how much it takes to make the entire series so let's begin with installation of Eagle Cat. So if you're watching this video on YouTube or maybe if you are watching this video on site, you will see the link I have given down below in the description or maybe in the description of the post. So you just simply have to search for uh, Catsoft Eagle and you will be browsed to this link catsoft.io. And once you come to this link, you will find this uh, button that is a download Eagle 7.7. .7. So you just need to hit on this button and then it will browse you and take you to, you know, different distributions of Eagle. Some, uh, some of the people may have 64 bit, 32 bit operating system. So you just have to choose whatever, uh, that is your system requirement is. So you just have to choose any one. So, uh, maybe in my case, it's a 64 bit windows and you just have to insert your email address and agree, uh, this checkbox. Um, and then, you know, proceed, uh, to download the installation of eagle so i think it's very um, easy and straightforward process so i don't have to waste my time to show you how it's been done so i already have downloaded this um, um this eagle um, eagle windows 64 bit 7.7 .7. so let me show you how to install so double click on the installation files and then it will pop up this box and then you just simply need to you know um click on this setup and it will start installation it may take a couple of minutes i don't think it will take so long but let's see So now once it's done, it will ask you and pop up this box like welcome to Eagle setup program or something like this. You just need to hit on next and then it will ask you for the software license agreement. And this the installation that we are doing is a freeware from Eagle. It's allowed us to uh, design circuit board up to two layer. So we don't have to worry since we are students. So it's on yes. And then it will ask you the destination, I mean installation, and it will be going to be into the C drive. And I'm happy with it. If you uh, want to customize it for uh, your system, then you can go ahead and do it. But just for me, I'm happy with C drive and just hit on next and again next and it will copy some files. Okay, I think it's been 100% right now. So here is a tricky part because when I used previous versions of Eagle, it shows um, to choose freeware, but it's been changed since uh, this is Eagle 7.7. .7. So if you want to use it Eagle freeware, then you have to choose this Eagle Express. That is what it's written here. So just choose on Eagle Express and then hit on next. So once you hit on next, you would get this Eagle setup is now complete and you just need to hit on finish. And I think now you have Eagle on your PC. So now we have done Eagle installation. Let's check whether we really have Eagle on our PC or not. So let's search for Eagle. And you can see there is the Eagle 7.7 .7 desktop app. So hit on that. And uh, whenever we click on this, we get this uh, Eagle program. 
and it comes into small window i don't know why it's not coming into the bigger window but that's fine we can maximize it so let's click on maximize and uh, this is this is what the eagle workplace looks like so there are a lot of things that we can uh, have to focus and we should discuss but since this is very first uh, video we would not going to talk about there are a lot of things like documentation libraries design rules user language program that sometimes referred as ulp then script cam jobs and projects and stuff like that there are so many things we will be uh, get our hands dirty with every uh, option of eagle but in your future not now so right now what we are interested in in creating a new project so if we go to project menu we can see there are two folders like eagle and examples example is the place uh, where we get some um, ready example projects uh, that's been created using eagle so whenever we create a new project usually we prefer to create any project into this eagle um, folder eagle project folder and if you click on this eagle you can see here is a uh, you know destination uh, url that is it's in the documents and eagle so we know whenever we create any project we know where our project would going to be so to create new project just you need to right click on this eagle and uh, you have to choose on this new project so whenever you hit on new project it will ask you to uh, give the name for your project and uh, in this case it will be um just for example let's take it voltage voltage regulator right so that's it now you have created your project and uh, you know since uh, this is uh, this is a project where we have to create a pcb we have to uh, create the schematic files and then board file as well so let's hit on this uh, just right click on this um, project and uh, go to new and hit on schematic whenever we hit on schematic it will pop up new window and this new window uh, let's maximize it and this is how you uh, this is how it looks like a schematic editor so it looks very blank very white white so what we have to do is to the first thing we have to do is to enable the grid so we would get a feeling of uh, you know drawing some circuits or something like this so uh, you get this icon here in upper menu bar it's called grid so hit on this grid and uh, you need what you need to do is to hit on this radio button which is on so basically what we are doing is we will be turning on the grid for the schematic and hit on ok so once we turn on um, this grid you can see if i zoom in you see there there are grids and now we can place the components and you know move it around so now we have turned the grid on and so uh, whenever we think about creating any uh, circuit we need to have the components and that components we will bring it to this uh, schematic sheet and then we will connect it uh, the circuit so uh, we need a component electronic components and to add electronic components uh, in the left uh, left pan we have this button called add so you just need to hit on add and um, here is uh, the component library that we have given from eagle so uh, you just have to search for rcl it's a, it's a resistor capacitor and inductor library and uh, we get a different kind of resistor capacitor here so one which we are interested in we will be taking very basic uh, 0805 footprint of resistor and to take this component to the schematic what we have to do is to select the part that we want to uh, put onto the schematic sheet and then hit on ok so once we hit on ok we will see that this part has been you know stick to the mouse cursor and to move the part and to uh, because sometimes or very often times we have to move the components around the grid to place it component properly and connect it so we just need to uh, right click and you will see this component is moving around the grid so this is how you would going to place the component so just click a uh, hit on the mouse and then you will see uh, this component placement has been done and to um, now we don't want this uh, component uh, but it still stick to the uh, to to the mouse cursor so we just hit on this, this move button 
and it's been gone okay or you can click on escape and it will bring you back to the component library so this is all we have to do now the question is we have given a lot of components that we can use to design our circuit but there are very often the cases is uh, we need to have the components which is not there into the Eagle built-in library. So what we have to do in that case, we have given there are two or three libraries. One is from the Spark Fun and one is from Adafruit. So I would like to introduce you how to add this component libraries to your existing part list uh, into the Eagle. So I already have downloaded this uh, libraries, uh, Adafruit Eagle library and Spark Fun Eagle library. To, uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube or on a website, I have given all the links into the description and the website post. So don't worry about it. Just uh, hit on this uh, links and go to the GitHub page and download from the GitHub. So let's go ahead and add the new component libraries. So to add Adafruit library, go to Adafruit and copy this Adafruit.lbr file so copy it and go to your eagle installation directory in c drive it's a eagle 7.7 .7 in lbr it's a library and you just have to paste this uh, adafruit.lbr file okay there are some more libraries that we have to add so go to you know uh, the place where you have uh, your all the parts so uh, again we have to go to the installation that we have i have done it before in the software okay so here is a spark fun and here are the tons of libraries you know so what i do is i choose all of them and copy all of them and put into again the installation directory of eagle and in lbr folder and paste it to this um, folder okay now just close this uh, entire thing and come back to the schematic. Now to add this LBR file, we have to go to this, um, either we have to go to this add libraries button or we can go to library. Okay, I will show you first. If you go to add, then if you look at Adafruit, it's not there. Adafruit library is not there. But we have copied this uh, library files into our uh, installation directory, but we can't use it this uh, Adafruit library. Now to use the Adafruit library, what we have to do is we have to add this library into our installation path. So go to library and hit on use and then select Adafruit. So here is Adafruit.lbr. So choose Adafruit.lbr and then hit on open. So uh, you will see what I'm going to do is instead of doing one by one, I will choose uh, all these files into this installation directory and in LBR folder. So um, one shot, I will be, uh, you know, adding this Adafruit and Spark Fun library together. So uh, hit choose all of this uh, LBR files and then hit on open. So it will take for a while and uh, um, when you go to add component, then you will see now Adafruit is there. Okay, and now we can access all those uh, components and parts to design our schematic circuit, right? Uh, likewise, if you search for Spark Fun, you may get to see sparks when batteries and boards and capacitors, clocks and coils and all components. And if you have this uh, Adafruit Spark Fun library along with the Eagles built in library, I don't think you need extra components. And even if you want extra components, um, there may be the situation where you have to, you know, make your own uh, part, and that we will learn in the future video. So now you know how to, uh, you know, place the component from the component library to the schematic sheet. And uh, in the next video, we will learn how to uh, connect the components. Uh, and uh, design a schematic and uh, later on we will learn how to design a circuit board and routing and stuff like that so thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video bye bye